Twain, how have the last couple of days been? Uh, well, actually not in the last couple of days, more the last couple of months, but are you happy with how things have gone at the uh, Trade with Africa Business Summit? Oh, I'm excited. Um, I'm, I'm thankful. I'm excited because I feel even all the work I did, if nobody showed up, it would have been a failure. But the success also shows in the people that believe in Africa. For example, you coming all the way, and I'm thankful that people believed enough to invest and come to you know Bentonville. So I'm very thankful. There's got to be some takeaways from this conference. It can't be another talking heads. I know that everybody that we've spoken to uh, has really enjoyed their time here. They've, they've learned a lot. Um, they've been educated. They've been enlightened. Um, but we need some deliverables from this. What would you like to see as end products from this yeah. conference? Yeah, I think the first goal was to remove the veil, right? Because people talk about we want trade, right? More trade, not aid. Mm -hmm. But I found out that it was a loop that we needed to break that cycle. People did not know how to pursue trade. I'm hoping that by attending this event, people now know what the how is. Um, the second thing is also giving people um, the push to pursue trade. That was one thing I wanted to do to say, this is, let's go. Nothing is stopping us. We need to build our own countries from the local level. We need to partner with resources abroad. The diaspora needs to connect. We need investors. But I, I, I am, you know, my own takeaway and what I hope people walk away with is go. Just go pursue and, and, have, and be committed. Mm -hmm. Be committed to Africa, not one leg here, you know. So that, that's what I'm hoping people went with and left to because people go for events every time. But for me, it's more of action. Um, be committed and let's figure this out together. Call for action for next year. Where are we going to be? Okay, so <laughs> um, like I shared before, I believe strongly that Africa's economic growth is going to be determined by how it invests and develops its relationship with America. I know African leaders are partnering around the world, but because of the size of the U.S. market, if you build a solid strategy that is wrapped around investing and partnering with corporate America, you are guaranteed growth. That's what China got right. It's the first step. So for next year, the theme is pathway to economic growth, U.S.-Africa trade. And we're going to be working from now till then to really ramp that up and hopefully inspire our leaders to take seriously. Because what I've found is that the um, political leaders have a sense that they've done all that they could do, but it's not true. They've done all that they could do in Washington, D.C. And Washington, D.C. has delivered on its promise for favorable policies like AGOA and foreign aid, right? That's all Washington is designed to do. Now we need the next new strategy partnering in corporate America. And that's what I want to drive. Would you bring the conference to Africa? Absolutely. Absolutely. Right now, um, there are conversations happening. There are, there are interests growing in different countries. We're evaluating that right now because there were so many people that wanted to come, but visa challenges and all that. So yes, but what I would say is the conversation we're going to have on the continent of Africa is going to look different. Right? The content, the conversation is going, to be, is going to look different. I want to see more capacity building, resources, and holding, and more education on the African continent. So maybe two conferences, one here and one there every year. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, we, we, I, I believe in Africa. I believe in the people of Africa. We can do whatever we want to do. So, yes. If that's the need, we'll do it. Excellent. Thank you so much, Toyin. Thank, you, Thank you and well done. Congratulations oh again. It's so been much. a wonder. It's really I want you all to say impact. 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 One more time. Impact. impact. Throughout this event, if there's any word I want you to go on with, that's the word. Um, because oftentimes in business, um, we think about the bottom line. Right? We want to focus on the bottom line. But I hope that um, you know, when you think about what's happening here, that you will go beyond just thinking about your bottom line and think about impact. Because when you look about uh, uh, stories of companies that have grown, 
around the world, they didn't start with the bottom line. When you think about the Google, the Facebook, the Walmart, when you look at, about that, they, they wanted to change life, they wanted to improve lives. So hopefully that's something we're also talking about, even in the health sector. Um, if we would just put aside bottom line first and we just say, how can we impact that sector? I think we will make more advanced. Mm -hmm.